self-reflected light beautiful places that I've been to actually in Florida. This is called Solomon's Castle behind me. And then over there, over my shoulder, is the boat on a boat. And it's a restaurant. And there's a gift shop over there. But uh, I came here to Solomon's Castle knowing a little bit about the story of it. And I had never been here before. So this is one of the things that I'd never been to. And uh, as soon as I walked in the door and I started to meet uh, the wonderful people that are here, um, it seemed became apparent to, that, I, that I almost felt like I was at home. Uh, the people here are just absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, I just walked in and I told them, asked if it was okay if I could film stuff and things, and I couldn't film anything inside. I did take a few pictures that I'll add to this video uh, after this after this video or during the course of this video I should say uh, but uh, I couldn't film anything in there for obvious reasons but I did take some pictures and I can film outside but uh, the, the it's just absolutely amazing and Elaine uh, Mr. Solomon's daughter and Dean and Julie were just absolutely amazing I just got done eating <laughs> eating dinner and uh, I set my drink down on the cover there but I just got done eating dinner and uh, 
I had uh, in the restaurant there and they had a beautiful meal. It was homemade meatloaf and mashed potatoes and spinach pie. And it was just delicious. And then I had to try the dessert. And Elaine wanted me to try the apple crisp and the apple crisp was just absolutely delicious. But I am so full right now. <laughs> I don't think I'll need another meal until tomorrow afternoon, uh, and it was just a, it was just a great time. Uh, super nice people, Solomon's Castle uh, in Florida. I'll put uh, the information down on here uh, for you guys so you can look it up, and I'll do a little Google screen snap uh, that I did that I'll add to this video also, so you can kind of see where it is in relation. Uh, to Florida but it's it's amazing so basically uh, Mr. Solomon started back in the early 70s and he bought this land uh, for a good price and then he found out later why it was a good price because apparently it was some swamp land so they have some flooding problems uh, when the hurricane Irma came through here not long ago uh, it flooded out pretty good uh, I think they said it was like 48 inches of water uh, and they had the water level line uh, in the gift shop there where the gift where it was so uh, anyway they had a lot of water it receded slowly but uh, they got everything cleaned up and I guess it floods out here a lot according to what Dean said uh, it floods out here several times he said <laughs> so they're kind of used to it uh, but it's a beautiful place so what you saw in the beginning of the video there is the castle and he initially wanted to start it sort of like a workshop and just bought this land out here and then he realized it was turning into something that he wasn't necessarily expecting so i think it was 1972 if i remember right i'm trying to remember parts of the tour uh, because i couldn't record as i was going along so i believe it was 1972 he he actually ended up opening up to the public and doing tours uh on Sundays or every other Sunday during the month and then people in the area who started to come and see what he was doing then started bringing him all these gifts of recyclable material so that's the cool part about this is about Solomon's castle is is that all of the stuff that is used in the castle is all made with recyclable parts uh, I mean from bottle caps to Gatorade bottles to chains to coffee cans to pieces of old equipment lawnmowers tractors pipe fencing I mean anything you can imagine and that's what the whole thing is built out of now the outside of it you saw in the video that's pretty shiny and that's because he got all of the um, uh, it's like the metal printing things for the local newspaper here. Uh, he got all of those uh, sheets of metal. They're like tin, and they print the ink on the um, on the metal, and then that's what they run the newspaper over when they print the newspaper. So anyway, he got all of that from them because they they weren't using them anymore, and so he he built the whole outside of the castle with <laughs> with those that printing tin. So basically. The whole outside of the castle is like a time capsule. <laughs> There's printing on there from the 1970s uh, all the way up until uh, not long ago, probably. And there's some of it also inside. But there's huge sculptures inside. Some of them took them weeks. Some of them took them months. And then some of them took them many years uh, to build. So it's just, I, I really highly recommend it. It's roughly around 12.50 for adults to get in. And don't eat before you come <laughs> because they have a very awesome restaurant in there, an eclectic looking restaurant inside with all these little knickknacks and uh, stuff that sort of resembles the the inside of the of the castle. And so don't come, <laughs> don't come here and uh, or don't eat before you come and make sure you spend some time in the restaurant. And uh, and when you come, ask for uh, Elaine and Dean or Julie. And uh, tell them Backpacker Mike sent you, and uh, they'll probably get a kick out of that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would highly recommend coming out here, especially if you're in Florida, or if you're down in Tampa or on the West Coast. If you're coming from Tampa, it's roughly about an hour, 
hour and a half's drive uh, to get over here, so it's really not that far. And then uh, I also got a tour of uh, Mr. Solomon's uh, antique car collection, of which I'll add pictures in this video too of it. The antique car collection he has is, uh, man, and they're all in mint condition. I mean, mint condition, Model A's, Model T's, uh, an old 1917 Sprinter or something. But I'll upload all the pictures in there so you can see all of those too. And uh, Julie gave me the tour of that, and she was absolutely amazing. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, definitely come down to Solomon's Castle. Beautiful people run this place, uh, and the relatives of Mr. Solomon. Unfortunately, Mr. Solomon uh, himself passed away last year, so he is no longer here. He used to join in on tours or come and sit down and have dinner with you in the restaurant. And was very a very, very, very nice man. Everybody here speaks very, very highly of him that he always gave back. And uh, it's unfortunate that I didn't have a chance to meet him because he seems like he would be an amazing person to meet and have a conversation with. He just, his mind was just unbelievable with the things that he created. So, yeah, definitely come down here and check him out. Tell him Backpacker Mike sent you. And, uh, wow. You know, when, you, when you're traveling, you meet absolutely amazing people. And, uh, you know, I have to say uh, I met some truly, truly amazing people today that, that touched me. Uh, so, man, I couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> so, uh, when you're close, come visit Solomon's Castle. And as always, peace, love, and let's experience this world together. It's Backpacker Mike signing out from... Solomon's Castle in Florida. <laughs> uh, it's truly amazing. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you soon from another destination. Peace.